For those who are tired of simulators in football and believe that rugby is not enough violence, the Kelsio Storico is ideal, a bloody team sport played not just by real men, but by berserkers with berserk fists. In order to play Calcio, you don't need so much. A 50 by 100 meters sandy field in Piazza Santa Croce in Florence, 54 healthy men and a ball, like a basketball, stuffed with goat hair. If everything is more or less clear with the last two points, then the first one is a tribute to an ancient tradition. Games are held annually in Florence, while tournaments have not been cancelled even during numerous wars. Four teams participate in the annual tournament, one from each of the historical quarters of the city, but as you can imagine, only two will reach the final. 27 people from each team enter the field, depending on which quarter of Florence they are from. The color of the team may be blue, red, white or green. The uniform of the players is of the same color. However, from the entire luxurious wardrobe on the field, you can only appear in embroidered pants, the torso must be naked. 15 people from the team play in attack. These are the so-called Inachi. Five people each take places on the flanks and in the center. Behind them are five midfielders Conchator, then for assistant defenders, Dottori, three Dottori Adirti close the defense. The task is to throw as many balls as possible over the edge of the fence from the opponent's side. After each goal, the teams change sides. The match starts after the cannon is fired. The game goes on for 50 minutes. After the game, the winning team marches through Florence with banners. The losing team sadly wanders home to lick their wounds. And these wounds are not figurative at all. After all, the most interesting feature of Calcio is its phenomenal cruelty. In this game, fights and wrestling are not prohibited, it is an integral part of the performance. Moreover, it is possible and necessary to beat not only the person with the ball, but also the rest of the team players, which often turns the game into a bloody battle. There are no protective gear, gloves or helmets. Hair blood is shed and bones are broken. It was only recently that the tournament management gave in to the concerned city authorities and allowed the doctors to be present on the field. At the same time, if someone is knocked out or a player is seriously injured, the match does not stop. The beaten one is simply quickly carried off the field. Substitutions in the game are not provided. Officially, direct punches and kicks to the opponent's head are not allowed, as well as three-handed one. But in the heat of battle there is such a mass on the field that after each goal scored, you can safely remove everyone. Therefore, they look at such trifles through their fingers. There are other restrictions, those who are over 40, and those who have serious convictions behind them, are not taken into the game. Otherwise, the rules are simple, you need to deliver the ball to the opposite end of the rectangular field in any way. All this mess on the field is monitored by simple and higher referees. The former judge what is happening on the field, and by the way, so that they are not confused with the players, they put on bright shirts. The letter evaluate what is happening from the box and enter the field if they see gems and refereeing simple. Everyone can play the modern Calcio Storico. While in the Middle Ages at first it was entertainment exclusively for the nobility and was called Triangulum. After some highly respected people had their heads beaten off, the nobility decided to send strong servants or peasants to tournaments, thus the first professional Calcio teams were formed. More recently, tournament organizers have begun to bring in rugby players boxers and more fighters, more and more well-trained, professionally restrained athletes to the game, apparently to bring violence on the field at least to some reasonable limits. But, nevertheless, despite this, the modern Kelsey Historico remains a feast of testosterone and medieval violence, where the most important quality is the inability to play in a team and not even speed, but how powerfully a man can hit an opponent in the face. If you think that rugby is for wimps, feel free to go to Florence and play Calcio, this festival of rage, sweat and blood.